like, man, UConn first round, Albany driving distance? Um, it feels great. Um, we we love the location. Um, UConn is a great team. We're up for we're up against a great battle. Um, but we're up for the task. We're gonna have a great scout this week, and we're gonna have a great, good hard practices. And you know, we're going into March with confidence. This is something you dreamed about your whole entire life. Well, now it's here. It's reality. What does that feel like? Um, I haven't even soaked it in yet. You know, I probably will later on tonight. Maybe tomorrow. I don't know. But um, yeah, like you said, it's a dream come true. And like I said, we just want to seize our opportunity and see what we can do. What's the last 24 hours been like? Being Maris winning the conference title for the second time in three years, and now you're going to the dance. Um, crazy. You know, honestly, I, I don't even think I'm running off like three hours of sleep right now. Um, but it, it's been good. I, I told my um, my brother and my team, told them it feels great when you win. You know, um, it feels like you accomplished something in life. So. I love this feeling. I want to keep uh, keep achieving this. Dennis, uh, last night, you know, we talked a little bit about it, 46 all, and, and then you started making shots. How do you, re reflecting on that, how do you feel about uh, uh, the last 10 minutes of the game last night? Um, I told Walter today, and I was talking to Anton, um, it was like, I don't even know what took over me, but something took over me. I, it's like I blacked out. I don't even remember. Like, I just felt... Anything I shot was going to go in. So I was just trying to get a attempt. I was just trying to get to an open spot. Um, Walt was able to find me. Nelly was able to find me. And I just, I told him, I just felt like anything I shot was going to go in. So maybe that was God. I believe in God. So I think that was him. But other than that, um, this is my confidence. As years of preparation, practice, play, playground, different levels of basketball paid off. Yeah, uh, yeah, most definitely. Um, you know, you just got to stick with it. In basketball, I always tell the guys, basketball is about having confidence. If you don't have confidence in yourself, then nobody else will. And confidence comes from working hard and putting in the work. What has Coach Patino uh, done to elevate your game this year? What have you learned, uh, been taught by Coach Patino on? Um, I always say it, but um, the biggest thing with Coach P is, is winning. Nothing else matters except for a W, no matter how bad you play, no matter how good you play. As long as you win, you, you fix it. You, you can learn from wins. You don't want to learn from losses. So that's the biggest thing I learned from Coach, and he just challenged me on both ends of the court. And coming to Iona this year, getting to the NCAA tournament, is it just make you feel good about the decision to come here? Oh, yes, most definitely. Um, this is exactly why I came here. And, okay. Yes. How much does it feel to have Coach Patino leading the way with 40, four decades worth of experience playing in this tournament? You know, he's been there, seen it, done all of it. Um, he's my GOAT, so um, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't do it with any other coach. What about doing it with the women's team? The second oh, time in that man. oh man, oh man, oh man. I told my guys this as well. Before we played, I said, guys, I, well, I told Oz. I said, Oz, I hope the women's team get it done first because I felt like we were going to get it done, but I was just hoping and praying for them that they got it done. And once they did, I, I felt like the pressure was released because, I mean, we was just going to go out and play our game and play as hard as we could. team from your conference went to the Elite Eight last year. This yeah. isn't about just getting there and just winning one game, maybe. You feel like this team can make a serious run? Um, I mean, you know, we go give St. Peter's all the credit for what they did. Uh, they made a great run. You know, we're not going to put no limits on what we can do. We're just going to go in, like I said, with a lot of confidence and try to execute our game plan each and every game, and you know, the sky's the limit. Yeah, so you're going to have family members flying in for this game? I'm pretty sure. They all told me once we got into the tournament, um, they said they would fly out, so I hope so. How, how good would it be to beat UConn, especially because you have a coach on staff who went to UConn and to the crowd? Oh, man, um, that, would be, that would be something special. That would really be something special, so hope we can get it done. Thank you. All right, thank you. Thank you, Dennis. Good to see you.